This is episode 89. Good afternoon, Barry Beer with you at nearly 25 past three here on Friday afternoon on the second last day of October. And my word, how October has flown. Well, this afternoon on the show, I'd like to talk about the importance of getting enough sleep and eating enough vegetables. Uh, Firstly, I'd like to open the show uh, by telling you how important it is to get enough sleep at night. It is important, guys, to have enough sleep at night especially if you've got exams on the next day and you must be well rested before you've got your exam or your HSC, that sort of thing. And also if you've got a big sporting competition or a long drive ahead of you, that sort of thing. You must also get plenty of sleep because you might have to drive somewhere far away the next day. Because guys, if you start the trip and you haven't had enough sleep, this is an accident waiting to happen. So before you start your long trip, I said this the other day on the show, get plenty of sleep the night before you go on your long trip in the car or four-wheel drive or mini bus and make sure that everyone else in your family gets a lot of sleep as well. And make sure that you Go to bed early so you can get up and away nice and fresh the next morning. That's very important. And we should all go to bed early if we have exams, a big sporting competition, etc. And a big drive like I just mentioned or you've got HSC, or your first day of school, or your child's first day of school, they may be too excited to sleep because they they are starting school the next day. I was like that when I was a kid. So getting enough sleep, guys, it's important we must sleep well during the night. I know it must be difficult, but hey guys, the more sleep that we get, the better, even if we are sick. So, more sleep and try not to stay up all night watching like movies or playing computer games or talking with your mates. I mean, okay, it's your choice, but I'm just giving you that option, okay? What happens if we don't get enough sleep? Well, we can get restless. We drink too much coffee. We are stressed about something. We are too excited about something. We are nervous about something. Have you ever been nervous about anything that has made you made you um, restless and can't get to sleep? Well, let me know down be- below here. I'd like to hear from you about this. Another reason why we sometimes don't get enough sleep is when we are unwell, 
in pain or if it's too hot. It may have been a really hot day and you get into bed and you toss and turn and you're thinking, I can't get to sleep. And you don't feel a hundred percent. You've got butterflies in your stomach. And that may be a reason why we can't, we can't sleep. Now on to the importance of eating enough vegetables. Now, vegetables. We must eat five serves of veggies a day. And what can you make with vegetables? Well, a vegetable pie, a vegetable curry, vegetable fritters, vegetable pancakes, a vegetable slice, a vegetable loaf, you name it. And one particular vegetable guy you can use is carrots. So, what can you make with carrots? Well, you can make a carrot cake, guys. You know, and carrots are very good. And, and you can make a carrot cake and, and what else can you make with pumpkin? Well, pumpkin is another vegetable you can use in cooking as well. You can make pumpkin scones, a pumpkin loaf, a pumpkin soup. You can just do anything with it. So vegetables, you just can't go wrong with them, guys. You really can't. And they're too good to waste. And what about a vegetable juice? Simply add tomato, celery, carrot, beetroot, you name it. It's all there. So why not use up any old vegetables that will soon go up and make yourself a nice healthy vegetable juice to get your, your immune, immune system going and your vitamin C intake. Go on, I urge you to. Vegetables are so versatile. You can, uh, you can even make a vegetable casserole. Vegetables, they are too good to waste. So go on, make yourself a vegetable casserole for the family tonight, or a family vegetable pie for the veggie lovers. The last thing I'd like to talk about on the show is what can go wrong on a camping trip. Okay, it's great that you want to go away and go camping in the car or the four-wheel drive, but sometimes guys, guys and girls, Things don't always go to plan. They can sometimes go pear-shaped. Like someone in the family may become sick. Someone in the family um, may have had some bad news or something. Someone's got sick. Someone has ended up in, in a hospital, that sort of thing. And that can make plans for you trip away pear shaped. Or things will, can go pear shaped, I should say. Another thing that can go wrong is the vehicle. Your vehicle may not be serviced. 
water or oil and may not have been changed when you took the car in for a service. You've got four, four tires. Your brakes are not working well. Your lights and your battery, your transmission, that sort of thing. These are all the things that can go go wrong. And even a faulty petrol gauge. The petrol gauge may not be working. Or the gearbox. So these are the things that can go wrong before a camping trip. And also you may not have you may not have purchased enough food for the family or 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 things like that. You put everything on the trailer and then you go to turn the corner and half the goods have fallen off because you haven't secured secure them uh, properly with ropes. You may have, have overloaded your vehicle and I had a rollover. So these are the things that can go wrong and you break down in the middle of the bush and uh, you've got no tools to fix the car or you, uh, your four wheel drive. Well, one of the, one of the kids on the trip become sick and you don't know where the nearest medical centre or hospital is. These are all the things that can go wrong on a camping trip or before a camping trip. You find out that the road is closed due to flooding or there's a bushfire. And again, these are the ingredients that can make things go wrong before a trip even begins. Before I go today, my highlights for the week, okay? Monday was the cooking class, Tuesday one on one, Wednesday one on one, Thursday performing hearts, and today man doing phone duties and counting bottle It brings me on very nicely to the closing segment sequence. If anybody has a bottle cap lids, please, uh, please do uh, collect them. Okay, we aim to get up to 5,000 bottom caps and, and things like that. So please do not throw out your bottom tops from your milk cartons, your juice cartons, anything like that. And make sure they are clean. Well, that brings to an end episode 89. Sorry, I couldn't bring you episode 89 this morning, but I brought you episode 89 now. And to, t to conclude episode 89, Sydney's weather, we will have a late shower or two, and then tomorrow, the chance of a thunderstorm and a top of 26 degrees. And on Sunday, showers becoming windy, and we should see the return of sunshine 
how boy Vader Vader in the new week. So from me, Barry Fair, thanks for your company on episode eighty nine. Episode ninety coming up tomorrow with my upside and care in the studio. So join me tomorrow from 11 o'clock in the morning for a fun video and it's about the vegetable pie we've got tonight. So until episode 90 tomorrow, have a great Friday night everybody. Enjoy yourself and you take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend for those that um for those that have got plans and take care out there. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon and Friday night. You've been watching episode 89 with Barry Fear. The time is 20 to 4. It's Friday, the 30th of October.